Okay, so let's give our prediction for the semi-final, the one we are all excited about. Eager versus Rebakina, a repeat of the Australian Open matchup this year where Rebakina beat Eager. This is just so exciting. We are going to be covering it on Game to Love, just like the other semi-final as well. And I, I just feel like this one is going to be a little bit more one-sided than the previous meeting. The reason being, this surface suits Iga so much. It yeah. plays a little bit like a role on Gauss where she's so dominant. That's why Rafa does so well usually at Indian Wells. Iga, I feel like, is the female equivalent at this stage. And what is, well, let's not say equivalent because Rafa's <laughs> in his own league all completely, but she's trying to emulate him in some form. And I believe that Iga is going to just do some more magic. Rebakina could do a lot more against Eager on, say, an Australian open court or, say, a grass court, but not in these conditions. And I fancy Eager to win this match. The reason being as well is they did play uh, an exhibition, which I'm not going to read too much into, which was Rebakina one, but they played in Ostrava, uh, which was uh, in 2021, and Eager won that in straight set. So, I think we're going to see a similar scoreline. In fact, the exact same scoreline. So I think it's going to be a tie break in the first and a 6-2 second. Yeah, I mean, that was indoor hard court, that one. Um, different surfaces, both of them. They, all they do is play on hard court, it seems, these two. We've had the quick surfaces of Australia. We've had probably quick surface there indoors as well in Ostrava. And now we're having a slower um, more humid conditions there in Indian Wells, which it does suit Eager's game so much. And Rebecca and the serve may be nullified a little bit, I feel, with the with the humidity. She served six double faults in her match against Mukova in the match just gone. It took three hours on court as well, which that's got to take something out of you. Up until then, she looked pretty much bulletproof. She just dispatched Kenin in straight sets, Badoza straight sets, Kocheva straight sets. And I think it may be just credit to Mukova. I think she just had a really good tournament and it's back to a bit of form. I, in my draw preview, I went with Rebakina to knock out Eager. The way that the tournament's sort of on, changing, down. I think I'm changing my mind. Ooh, I feel like, I feel like, I think it will be three though as well. I feel that Rebakina will get in her head a little bit. I feel like the defeat to her will mean she loses the first set eager and then she'll come back and she'll tight second steamroller in the third okay well let's bring up some eager stats to end it because she has been in great form recently and i think it's quite fascinating to see uh, this one against players outside the top 50 she's 44 and 0 since madrid 2021 and 55 and 1 since Roland Gauss. And this was more off the back of her beating Solana Sastea. She just demolishes them players. Doesn't do too bad against the top 10 either because she beats pretty much everyone. And I think on the season, Ben, you had the stats there for both of them. It's very tight and very close. I think Eagles was 15 and 3. 14 and 4, I believe, uh, Rebecca and, uh, and Eagles was 15 and 3. Okay. So, so, yeah, not much in it at all. Yeah. Like two so, top players. Very, very close. And you'll be interested to hear that the odds for this one, when they last played in Australia, it was Rebecca at, uh, at 4.3 and Eager at 1.2. This one, more of the same. Uh, Rebecca at 3.9, Eager 1.26. So slightly more uh, in favour of Rebecca, but only just, not really, not at all. So that everyone expecting a clean sweep for Eager in this one. I'm interested. I still think it's an interesting matchup, despite how well Eager's playing. But it's going to be tough for Rebecca in this matchup. I feel she's the type of player her head could go down at some point in this. When she, it, it's easy to get deflated playing Eager and. I feel that it's going to happen in that third set. Let us know who do you agree with in the comment section. What are your predictions for these matches? And of course, if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you for the matches.